please rise for the singing of the national anthem by senior choir members Courtney Haskin, Trinity Higgins, and Isabella Meyer. Oh, say can you see Good evening. I am Monica Zuber, the very proud principal of Bremerton High School. Welcome to the class of 2020 commencement ceremony. While none of us could have possibly imagined that the class of 2020's graduation would be live streamed from YouTube, we could not be more proud of the grit, resilience, and tenacious attitude with which our seniors chose to complete their last year at Bremerton High. And even though this is not exactly the ceremony, you have earned and oh so very much deserve. We hope that you end your high school career knowing that the class of 2020 will have just made the history books for you will forever be remembered. To start us off tonight, please join me in welcoming the superintendent of Bremerton School District, the man who has so fearlessly led all of us through this challenge-filled epidemic with hope and inspiration, Dr. Aaron Lavelle. Good evening, families, friends, and the class of 2020. It's a pleasure to be here tonight to share in this celebratory event of high school graduation 2020. On March 13th, life as we knew it changed in a big way. While there have been many disappointments, heartaches, and missed traditional in-person milestones and activities, I am proud of your positive attitude, continued hard work, and personal perseverance it took to get to this point today. Consequently, out of this situation, many new experiences and opportunities were born. The infusion of technology, creativity, and the necessity to do things differently have risen to the surface and will stick with us forever moving forward. Also, a huge thank you to your family members and friends who supported you during this challenging time and throughout your entire pre-K through 12th grade experience. Your many accomplishments individually and as a class speak for themselves, and I wish you a fun, healthy, and prosperous journey in life beyond Bremerton High School. As the superintendent of the Bremerton School District, I certify that each student appearing here this evening has earned the privilege of participating in this event and earning their diploma 
by meeting or exceeding all graduation requirements. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Joni DuBose, President of the Bremerton School District Board of Directors. Good evening, I am Joni Dubos, President of the Bremerton School Board. What a wonderful evening and opportunity to share this momentous event with family and friends. It is my honor to serve the school district and our community. The board, of, the board members and I are pleased to be here to send the class of 2020 on their next phase of life. On behalf of the Board of Directors, it is with pleasure that I accept Bremerton High School students presented here as the class of 2020 as having met the requirements to earn the privilege of participating in this event as set forth in policy by the Bremerton School District. Congratulations students and families on this great accomplishment. An arrow can only be shot by pulling it backward. When life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means it's going to launch you into something great. So just focus and keep on aiming. This well-known quote kept trickling through my brain as I practiced my favorite COVID-19 stress relief activity, shooting my recurve bow in my backyard. As I lined up each arrow and took a shot, I kept thinking about all of you and remembering what great archery samurai masters often teach, that aiming is everything. Sometimes we get so focused on results that we lose sight of the process, and it is only in the process that we discover our purpose. Life is not about hitting the target. We hit the target as a result of what Japanese martial artists and acclaimed master samurai archers call Zanshin. Zanshin is an effortless vigilance or what author James Clear describes as, choosing to live your life intentionally and acting with purpose rather than mindlessly falling victim to whatever comes your way. The class of 2020 was faced with the most challenging, complex, worldwide event that has ever happened to a graduating class of high school seniors. And yet you had a choice to make. You could have given up and mindlessly fallen victim to your circumstances, or you could have done what master samurai archers have done for centuries. Embrace the fact that in life, aiming is everything. I'm so beyond proud that all of you chose to be master archers, even if you did not know it at the time. Author James Clear goes on to write about the art of archery by sharing that, the enemy of improvement is neither failure nor success. The enemy of improvement is boredom, fatigue, and lack of concentration. The enemy of improvement is a lack of commitment to the process because the process is everything. How many of you over the last three months were faced with boredom, fatigue, and a lack of concentration? I would venture to say, quite understandably, all of you at some point. But you chose to continue aiming, aiming for successful completion, aiming for true greatness because aiming is everything. Zen Shin. As I gathered my thoughts about you, the extremely resilient class of 2020, I grew more and more impressed at the spirited journey you have authored and the Zen Shin filled life you will build in the future. I want you to know that I have developed great respect for you as a class and as individuals. You are truly an inspiring group. As a class, you have demonstrated high achievement that's being recognized around the state and around the nation in the form of scholarship offers. As a class, you have produced inspirational leaders, state champions, national award winners, scholars, artisans, and spent thousands of hours serving the Bremerton community. As a class, you have empowered yourselves and one another to think beyond academics and strive to be more than just students. As a class, you have cheered in support of your peers, persevered through moments of adversity, and most importantly, celebrated each other on the journey to this ceremony. The class of 2020 is also filled with remarkable individuals who have accomplished inspirational feats. It is with great pleasure that I present the honors part of tonight's ceremony. 
I'd like to begin by recognizing our senior class valedictorian and salutatorian. The valedictorian is the student with the highest cumulative grade point average, and the salutatorian is the student with the second highest cumulative grade point average. This year, we have two salutatorians, Teresa Kalaluka and Angel Fräulein Gallinato. Our valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Isabella Meyer. Congratulations to these three highly accomplished students. Associate degrees. Graduating from high school and receiving your diploma is just the beginning for many of you. At this time, I would like to honor 14 of your peers who in addition to earning their high school diploma have completed the requirements for their associate's degree. Isaac Burney, Brett Blankenship, Danielle Bodlorek, Sophia Captapon, Kaylee Everts, Jessica Falk, Gavin King, Byron Luong, Chantal Matro, Angela McCown, Annalise Norberg, Graceland Snedden, Forrest Tittle, and Alex Sapatka. Congratulations to all of these students. The military. Choosing to serve in a branch of the armed forces is a noble and selfless act. The Bremerton community is fortunate to have a large number of families who serve in the military. This graduating class has several students who have made the choice to serve our country. I would like to introduce them and their military branch. Serving in the United States Army, Cole Eckert and Tristan Tate. Serving in the Army National Guard, Derek DeJesus, Ozzy Dutson, and Stacy Patterson. Serving in the United States Navy, Roderick Thompson. Thank you and congratulations to all of you. On a personal note, I feel honored and blessed to have spent the last four years of high school with you. We were freshmen together. Your first day at Bremerton High School was my first day at BHS. I think I was as nervous as you were when you walked our halls on that very first day. Many a tear has been shed at the thought of not being able to look you in the eye, shake your hand, and wish you nothing but the best as you walk across that metaphorical line into adulthood, receive your diploma, and internalize that this is the moment that your life becomes your own. One of the most impressive aspects of the class of 2020 has been your collective ability to demonstrate such grit and grace in the face of adversity. You are the arrows in your own life, for you were pulled so far back and have suffered unintended consequences in this global state of uncertainty. But through your effortless vigilance, you have already shown that you understand the point of life, that it is not to spend your days worrying about hitting the target, the point is to fall in love with the process of doing the work, practicing the skill, and embracing each step of the journey regardless of how it turns out. It is not the bullseye that matters. It is not being the first to finish the, cross the finish line. It is the way you approach the practice, for aiming is everything. It is this class characteristic that sets you apart and showcases that you have embraced the art of Zen Shin in your everyday life or as I paraphrase from Kenneth Kushner's book, One Arrow, One Life. Each journey, each endeavor, should be done as if it were the only activity on Earth, which means to concentrate on every arrow as if it were the only arrow you will ever shoot. Parents, friends, family members, I have immense confidence in these young people to create a life that allows them to approach each step as if it were the only one. You have done an amazing job in preparing them for a future filled with unique experiences and purpose. On behalf of the entire staff, thank you for trusting us to teach them and work with them at Bremerton High School. Please continue to help them find their way on that path, challenge them, and support them to live their lives instilled with hope, experiences, and love. And students, always remember to say thank you to those who have taught you and those who will teach you for years to come. Give back what has been given to you. Bremerton High School, 
class of 2020, congratulations. On behalf of myself, Mr. Streck, Mr. Nichols, Mr. Mayfield, and the entire BHS staff, we wish you endless success. And don't ever forget, once a night, always a night. Thank you very much. I am very honored to be here tonight. For those of you who don't know me, I am Craig Dibbis. I am a social studies teacher here at Bremerton High School. But more importantly, I am a proud knight. Class of 2020, you are very special senior class. I had many of you as students in my world history and AP world history classes your sophomore year. And it is because of you, who you are, and what you have accomplished that I am so proud to be a knight. Three years ago, I took a big risk, moving with my wife and young son across the country to take a teaching job here. It was you, the class of 2020, who greeted me on my first day at BHS. It was you who welcomed me with open arms. It was you who showed me what an amazing school this is. And it was you, the class of 2020, who showed me what being a knight was all about. You are what led me to proudly call myself a knight. I still remember my first pep assembly in the fall of 2017. I'd been to a lot of pep assemblies at my previous school, but nothing could prepare me for a BHS pep assembly. I was in awe of the school spirit, everyone dressed in their class colors, cheering, the band playing. This is not the norm in schools across the country. That level of pride and spirit is unique to Bremerton. And then the knight entered the gym. A real knight! I was so excited about it that I called my friend from back east and told him all about it. And he said, man, your school sounds amazing. I couldn't agree more. It certainly is. And you are what make it amazing. Class of 2020, you are strong-willed and open-minded, empathetic and caring hardworking and determined. I have seen these qualities in you not only in the classroom, but also at your sporting events, concerts, performances, and in the community working at your after-school jobs. You have always represented BHS with integrity and pride, and you always will, and that is why I am so proud of you. Now, I know this is not the graduation ceremony that you and your families had envisioned, but that does not change the outcome or all the hard work, long hours, and sacrifices that you made to achieve this milestone. On March 13th, when Mrs. Zuber came over the announcements and told us that school was being closed, as seniors, you had no idea just how much your lives would change over the next three months. You had no advance warning, no planning, and a lot of unanswered questions about everything from prom to senior presentations to the spring sports season. And yet, in these uncertain times, class of 2020, you overcame adversity. You could have easily complained and been angry about all the things that you were not going to be able to experience over the last few months of your high school career. But that is not you, class of 2020. That's what makes you so special. You have handled this time with maturity and positivity. You adapted and chose to finish your classes strong with Zoom meetings and virtual projects. You chose to help your families, your neighbors, your community. You chose to come together and to help each other. You chose to persevere. The skills that you have learned over the last four years, and especially these last three months, will help you handle whatever life throws at you moving forward. You will be successful because of the challenges that you have faced, because it was not easy. There were obstacles thrown in your way up to the very end of your senior year, but you showed grit, determination, and resilience. Nothing was going to hold you back. And now you can proudly adorn that cap and gown and hold that diploma up high because class of 2020, you earned it. Whether you go on to further your education, join the workforce, or enlist in the military, you are prepared to face any challenge or setback that may await you. Remember this, 
Whatever path you take after today, you will always be knights, and we will always be proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Dr. Seuss once said, you can steer yourself any direction you choose, you're on your own, and you know what you know, and you're the one who'll decide where to go. For those who don't know me, my name is Wendy Pablo Maro King, and I'm one of the class speakers for this year's graduation. 
There's no other way of putting it. This is an end, but also a new beginning. This is an end to our high school careers, where we once as freshmen looked for our classes through the confusing halls of Bremerton, to when we took the qual in chemistry, probably one of the most stressful tests we've taken, to decorating our Burger King crowns, and finally winning our first pep assembly. We all had unique and unforgettable experiences throughout high school, and who knew it would go by so quickly? Although we were told numerous times as incoming freshmen that high school goes by in a blink of an eye. I don't believe we truly understood how quickly, because one moment we're stepping into the halls of Bremerton High School, and then all of a sudden we're taking the next steps into our future. Although we had an odd ending, I'm still thankful to have spent my last months with my class as a senior. I know that we missed out on events such as senior night, uh, our last pep assembly, senior skip day, or a proper farewell to our teacher and classmates, but if I'm honest, it could be worse. We're fortunate enough to have a graduation versus no graduation, no cap and gown, and overall, any type of celebration for seniors. But we're here today because no one, not even COVID-19, was going to rip that hard work and effort everyone put in for the past 13 years to be able to graduate. Yes, this may not have been the graduation we dreamed of, but it was made possible. Instead, we have a unique graduation, one that not any previous or upcoming classes have had before. Most importantly, we can say we made it through high school. But also, on behalf of class of 2020, thank you to the staff and faculty who made the ceremony possible, for planning the cap and gown drive-by, and overall being the greatest support through tough times. Thank you for always being patient, and most importantly, believing in us. As we close one chapter, we open another, where some of us join the military, workforce, or head to college to pursue our dreams and goals. We'll make our own decisions, some worse than others, but they all would be memorable and possibly a great story to be told. From now on, everything we do will be a learning experience, and it'll be up to us to decide how we use these understandings to our advantage. But whichever choices or paths we decide to take, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, Class of 2020. Good evening, my name is Isabella Meyer. Dear class of 2020, families, friends, BHS teachers and staff, Ms. Zuber, the school board of directors, and Dr. Lavelle. To look back on our last four years at Bremerton High School, I will borrow the words of English writer Charles Dickens. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. We came to the high school unsure of what to expect, a million possibilities lying ahead, and in these short years, we've experienced everything from elation to despair. We have made and lost friends. We have succeeded and we have failed. We've had a full range of experiences that helped us become the people we are meant to be. But four years ago, none of us could have guessed how the last few months of our senior year would play out. To say that 2020 has been a year like no other would be the understatement of the century. This year has brought us situations that none of us have dealt with before, as the world basically shut down before our eyes. The pandemic has affected us all, but it's been particularly hard for our graduating class. We've missed the last days with our teachers and friends, and the countless pre- and post-graduation celebrations that would have ensued. We've lost important milestones and rites of passage that would have ushered us into adulthood, and many of us feel cheated out of our ability to say goodbye to an era. Though it's hard to look for a silver lining in the midst of global tragedy, I hope that we can all take a moment to recognize the strength we possess within ourselves and our communities as we fought through this battle together. Just as we've all learned in science class, in nature, those who don't adapt disappear. Our class has had to unexpectedly adapt to almost every aspect of life and, as such, has become one of the most resourceful classes in our school's history. We've become empowered by independence and have persevered regardless of distance. We learn to do school over Zoom meetings and discussion boards, to stay in touch through video calls with teachers, family, and friends. Birthdays became drive-through events, and we've connected with each other by writing letters, sending packages, and even creating the occasional quarantine TikTok. We sang, laughed, and cried together, all over an internet connection. Above all, we showed how much we cared for those in our lives, and in doing so, somewhere along the way found a new rhythm, different from the rest of our high school experience, but valuable nonetheless. At first we were afraid, and that was human. 
Then we moved forward in spite of our fears, and that was bravery. Finally, as we continued to push through, we started to reimagine and recreate our lives. That was strength. We've been lucky enough to have had the support of our school, who ensured that our education would continue, that we would get to finish the school year, that we would get our graduation gear, even if from the inside of a car. We've had the support of our teachers and counselors who made themselves available for questions, chats, and moral support. We've had the support of our families who were there through every piece of news and every tear shed. We've had the support of our friends who talked us through some truly dark moments, often into the late hours of the night. We've had the support of so many people, all working together to find solutions, to guide us towards better days. This is community, and we are extremely grateful for ours. The time that we've spent at BHS has played such a large role in shaping us as people. Some of the lessons we've learned in our four years, especially during these last few months, we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. As we make the leap into adulthood, here are a few things that I hope we can always keep in mind. One. When faced with the unexpected, we have the ability to adapt. Making changes is how we got through the worst of our days and is how we will continue to get through any and all future challenges. Two, making it through difficult times is a group effort. In times of need, turn to your loved ones and trusted individuals. Turn to the people watching this video with you, whether they are seated right beside you or are tuning in from the other side of the world. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Three. You often don't know how strong you are until the unthinkable happens. Believe in yourself. Believe in your capacity to overcome obstacles and reshape your reality. You have done it before. Finally, life is not stationary. Things are in constant motion. There will always be a better day ahead. The BHS Class of 2020 stands here today wiser, stronger, and more resilient than any other class that has come before us. We march into our futures with the confidence that no matter what life throws at us, we will overcome it. I'd like to end today with a quote from one of my favorite historical figures, Eleanor Roosevelt. The quote reads, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. May we all believe in the beauty of our dreams and have the courage to make them a reality. Thank you. Spencer Allen Leoloni Anderson Leanna Anderson Mariella Arambulo Jelena Arcega Garrett Armbruster Caitlin Atoigui Claire Audet Jasmine Austin Robert Bailey Bella Marie Barnes Madeline Bassett Prudencio Bautista Matias Shane Bebain Angelina Beecham Jonathan Beecham Madison Bender Isaac Burney Jared Bevier Rain Beta Brett Blankenship Danielle Bodlarik Lashante Booker Sean Booker 
Nathan Booth. Hey y'all, thanks for a good four years here at Bremerton High. Special thanks to Miss McBride, Madame Erickson, and everyone on the swim team. Go Knights! Trenise Bracey. Raylan Brock. Elena Burrows. Sophia Cardipom. Sebastian Carino. Taylor Caro. Hi, my name is Taylor Caro. I'll be going off to college for nursing, and I'd like to thank all my family and friends for pushing me to be the best that I can be. Shelby Castle. Maria Chakaj Cox. Madison Chambers. Alexander Clements. Knights 2020, y'all ready for this plunge? Atlanta Coffee. Teresa Kolaluka. Callie Colborn. Sarah Janae Coleman. Denethia Collins. Hi. I just want to thank my friends and family for everything they've done for me. Robert Cologne. Evan Cooper. Rayla Copenhaver. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Thank you to all my friends and family for always believing in me. Sadell Chris. Honesty Crumpton. Leticia Cruz Pablo. Cedric Curtis. Kobe D'Angelo. Avery Dean. Isabel Degurski. Derek De Jesus. Haley Deluski. Zhu Tong Deng. Ozzy Dutson. Hey guys, it's me, Ozzy. I'm a senior, like you, and I'm here to thank my friends, my family, and my teachers. I appreciate you all. Jennifer Druckhammer. Angelina Duran. Cole Eckert. Mackenzie Ells. Kaylee Everts. Brant Evitz. Ella Falk. Allison Fershke. Sadie Finch. Madison Flanagan. Alyssa Fletcher. 
Heron Galbraith. Angel Fraulein Gallinato. Nolan Gannon. Hey, thanks everyone. I just want to say it's been a long road and I'm glad I could, you know, walk it with you. It's, it's been a real treat. Loretto Gentry. Nikita Gibson. And Cherelle Gomez. Hi, my name is Andrew V. Gomez, and I'm very grateful for having supportive parents, family, friends, and teachers in my life. Naomi Gorley. Sophia Grafinha. Gabriel Gray. Julie Gregg. Matthew Gutton. Nadine Marie Guerrero. Hafa day. May God to do us maasi. Again, to all of my family and friends, thank you. I would not be the person I am today without you guys. Cooper Hale. All right. My shout out goes to my family who supported me during my exchange year abroad and kept me moving forward. This is Cooper signing off. Kirby Hale. Everything from this day forward will be what you make it to be. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Ms. Capsh, Ms. Hogue, friends and family, plus fellow cadets for helping me get to the university. Morgan Hale. Wyatt Hale. Alora Hall. Keyshawn Hamilton. Alyssa Hansel. John Hardgrove. Tawny Harris. Courtney Haskin. Josiah Heinz. Brianna Hereford. Jake Higgins. Trinity Higgins. Carissa Hinsley. Joseph Hood. Isaac Hooley. Annalisa Hostvet. Leah Hostvet. Dylan Hubble. Mason Hume. Jonathan Ibbotson. Gabriel Ingram. Sarah Ingram. Keith Jackman. Micah Jeffries. Jonathan Gibson. Marie Johnson. Noah Johnston. Timothy Kozlerich. Zara Keith. 
Jennifer Keeley. Gavin King. As my time at Bremerton High School comes to an end and we look back at my triumphs and tribulations, I just want to say a big thank you to my teachers, friends, and family. Nothing would be possible without you guys. Ariana Kirkland. Stevie Ray Kitchen. Rowan Cost. Joshua Kruger. Lindsay Cook. And I'm thankful for my family. Yay, Lindsay. Faye Lawson. Garrett Lawson. Zachary Latham. Zachary Lee. Zoe Littlefield Chalisa Lopez Brenda Lopez Bautista Zamir Lucario Byron Luong Ernest Ma'ai Alexander Mathnas Jomaya Mali Megan Malone Stephen Malone So, LT, thank you. I gave you so much crap over the years, and I just wanted to thank you for helping me no matter how much you could. Diane Maney. Quan Martinier. Brian Martinez Perez. Thank you, everybody, for the four years of Bremerton High School. Clara Matias Chales. My name is Clara Matias Chales, and I am proud myself to get my high school diploma, and I'm so happy. Veronica Matias Martin. Chantal Maltro. Alyssa Monu Dione McBentis Jaden McBentis Angela McCowan Brian McDaniel Isabella Meyer. I'd like to give a big thank you to my mom and dad, my little sister Julie, my best friend Jacelyn, all of my family living in Washington, Texas, and Brazil, Hola todo mundo, and all the teachers and staff that have helped me out throughout the years. I love you all so much and thank you for everything. Sally Miller. Alexandra Milner. Ethan Marcus Miraflor. So uh, I'd just like to take a moment to uh, say thank you to my mom and my brother for helping me through high school and life. And uh, I hope to be successful as a mechanical engineer in the future. Thank you. Isabella Monroe. Deacon Mooney. 
Deshaun Moore. Last three years I've gone to school, that all the teachers, staff, and my peers treat me like family and with dignity and respect. I miss you all and go nice. Nori Morris. Deja Morris Thomas. Naomi Nakamura. Anjanice Navarro. Anthony Nelson. Nicholas Nelson. I want to thank my mom and my dad for always being there. Mr. Carler, Lieutenant Malner, Chief Newvine, and Mrs. Uber. Good luck. See y'all in 10 years. Catherine Nielsen. Annalisa Nordberg. David Norton. Michael Nunley. Isabella O'Brien. Isabella Olaf. Gabriel O'Rourke de la Cruz. Jordan Ortega. Wendy Pablo Marroquin. Hi, my name is Wendy, and I like to give big thanks to my family and friends for their support. Jordan Panganoran. Taylor Parker. Stacy Patterson. Dominic Pelzer. Javier Perez. Anibal Perez Matias. I'm so grateful to Mr. Bojorquez and his words, especially to my parents for helping me out and so Wendy Perez Pablo. Maria Pesolano. Curtis Platt. Abigail Queenan. Ethan Kenga. Justin Kenga. I'd like to say thank you to my parents, my family, friends, my teachers and coaches for helping me get through this long journey. Congrats to the Bremerton High School Senior Class of 2020. Irma Ramos Pablo. Jose Ramos Pablo. Jessica Rarig. Raven Ray. Jet Reed. Kaipo Ritome. Christian Reif. Mary Angelin Rivera. Amaya Robinette. I'm super excited to announce that I will be attending Bellevue College next fall on a soccer scholarship as well as studying psychology. Michael Robinette. Amelia Rodriguez. 
would like to thank my mom and my sister for always being there to help me when things are rough and my friends, Nashana and Jenna and Jocelyn. Eve Rowland. Denzel Rollman. Jolie Roussian. Manuel Ruiz. Joshua Rutledge. Brian Sanchez. Ethan Sanders. Nicholas Sandhop. Joshua Santos. Gabriel Savage. Annalise Saylor. Adam Shaw. Ariana Segesman. Benjamin Shad. I'd like to thank my family, Mr. Carlo, Mr. Shine, Zamir, Dominic, Tessa, Carly, and my favorite VHS memories becoming drum major of the marching band. Samantha Sykes. Amber Silvers. Asia Smithley. Gracelyn Snedden. Shannon Snyder. Gavin Snow. Sarah Staples. Samuel Steinbach. Shen Stewart. D. Janae Stewart Chase. Mary Stewart Phillips. Ivan Stone. Amormia Tapia. Allison Tarbox. Brooklyn Tarbox. Tristan Tate. Haley Taylor. Jocelyn Thompson. Roderick Thompson. Forrest Tittle. Josiah Tomlinson. Lindsay Torres. Gordon Tran. Dustin Troop. Zoe Trueblood. Peyton Uratia. Olivia Vaughn. Hi, VHS. I'm so excited to be graduating, and I'm sure you all are too. Go Knights in the class of 2020. Morena Wade. Michael Walquist. Brendan Watkins. Nicholas Watkins. A Jaden Webb.
Milena Waylast. Hi, I'm Milena. I'm graduating with my associates in arts, and this was possible due to the help of my family and my friends. Jenna White. Elizabeth Wiggles. Jared Wiggles. Walter Wyland. Future plans to go to Japan for five years. Seniors, you are. Donovan Willard. I want to thank Mr. Ryder, Mr. Shine, for giving me the auto, auto tech, and Ms. Zuber, this is for you, Papa. Henry Williams. Tyler Wilmot. Karma Winger Andrea Wirren Angelina Wajahowski Nashana Wood Akira Wright Hearie, hearie. Thank you to my mom, to my brothers, to my whole family, to getting me where I'm at now. Michael Young. Throw it in the air. Throw it up. Pick it up. No. Throw it in the air. Alexander Zapatka. After tonight, we are no longer students at BHS. We are alumni. Seniors, this is the last time we will be together as the Bremerton High School Class of 2020. As we sit in our living rooms this evening, we are encouraged to reminisce upon the obstacles we have overcome and acknowledge their part in shaping our now fast arriving future. However, be present in this moment tonight. Be proud of who you are and what you will become, for after this ceremony, we will no longer be students of Bremerton High School. The gesture of moving the tassel from one side of the cap to the other symbolizes a key step in our progression towards our own unique and individual paths in life. Each of us have had moments that made us think twice about this very day, but those second thoughts have remained just that. Each one of us have made it through events that nearly left us without our hope, but we persevered and we saved our tears. So, Knights, please stand tall and be proud to shed those tears as we turn our tassels from right to left. Congratulations, Knights. We are officially the graduated class of 2020. Thank you and good night.